everybody, look, you see this thing right here? This is the entire map of North America. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this Google Maps right here and try to make at least $200 in two hours. So look, the way I'm gonna be doing it is, for example, I'm gonna pick the United States just because I feel like there's more money right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find local businesses somewhere in this town here in the US and then try to pitch them a service where they would pay me like at least 200, 400, and I would fulfill it using another website called Fiverr right here. So the entire game plan is I was thinking, I'm like, what's the best thing that I can sell like right on the spot where if I would call a business, like a local business, immediately they're gonna say, yeah, please do it for us. So I did a bunch of research. I'm like, what is the thing that they're gonna give me money for immediately? And so I'm like, if I pitch them a copywriting service, they're not gonna say yes immediately because we're gonna have to go through like a series of calls where I convince them that you guys need copywriting and then make them like a landing page and all that stuff. It's just gonna be way too much. Like it's impossible for me to do it in two hours and get the money in two hours. So I kept thinking, I kept thinking, I'm like, okay, a local business, they need SEO for Google. They need to be ranked higher on Google Maps. So for example, if we just go right here, and so the state I picked was none other than Ohio. <laughs> well, because like all the memes are just coming out of Ohio. So I'm like, let me pick this one. So what I actually did is I just scrolled down, like I scroll down, scroll down. And then I was looking around here and I saw this town right here. I'm like, hold on a minute. Licking View. What the heck is that? Licking View. Such a freaking weird name for a town. So I picked this one right here. And what I did is I just typed in, I'm like plumber in licking view so like you see all these businesses right here like if we just scroll down you can see for example this business right here right jeff's sanitary plumbing co so if i just click on it you would see it's like it says claim this business and it has like one star review and then just one reviewer so if i just call these people right here and i'm like listen you guys if you guys want more business more clients like you got to fix this thing right here you got to fix this thing right here claim this business you just got to basically fix everything on your google maps and so if I just tell them I will do it for you guys for $200, most likely they're going to say yes because like think about it. They're going to pay me $200 and it's like they're going to be getting a lot more clients. So they're actually benefiting a lot. And then the way I'm going to fulfill this entire service is I just went on Fiverr. I just typed in Google Maps and I was just looking around. I'm like, you see all these people right here? Like they're all trying to help local businesses to rank higher on Google. So for example, it's like you see this guy right here? He's like, I will do local SEO for your GMB. And he has 47 reviews, but he's going to do it for 302. So this guy... It's pretty, it's pretty expensive to be honest. <laughs> but then I saw this guy right here and he's like, I will do 800 Google Maps citation for local SEO. And he has 1000 reviews and he's only charging $36. This guy has a lot of reviews and he's only charging 36. I'm like, Habibi, come here. Let me, let me freaking use you. But I'm pretty sure like this guy seems very experienced. And I feel like if he actually comes and like helps these people out, he's going to be able to help them get more clients and then just rank higher on Google Maps. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to scroll down and see all these businesses right here and just try to basically take all their phone numbers and then call them and tell them, listen, you want to freaking get more clients? Well, pay me $200. And then I go here and I pay this guy $36. So as a result, I'm profiting like 164 or something like that, whatever the math is. Now, the other thing I actually did is instead of saying plumber, I'm going to type in hair styler or like hair salon. And then I'm going to be basically looking at all these people right here and saying it's like, who needs my service? Let's just see these people right here. The reason why I think these people would actually need my service is because they have seven reviews only. And it's like, I'm pretty sure they're doing a good job because all these seven reviews are 4.7 stars, which is pretty good. So if I come and I would be like, I'll give you guys more reviews and all that stuff. I think it would actually help very much. But it's like, if I go down all the way, usually you'll see the people that are a bit like lower on the ranking are more in need of the service. So for example, these people right here, volume one salon, eight reviews, 4.9 stars. That's pretty good. And it says claim this business. So it's like, if I just come and I would help them out, I think they would rank a lot higher and as a result get more clients so this service shouldn't be that hard to sell now the reason why i'm actually picking like hair salons or like for example another one is barbers it's because these people when you actually call them like whenever i'm at the barber my freaking barber the one that actually cuts my hair is the owner so whenever he's cutting my hair he's always like the phone rings and he goes and gets it i'm like habibi freaking cut my hair so these people when you call them the owner is gonna pick up not like some freaking gatekeeper or whatever like if you're gonna call a dentist for example a gatekeeper is gonna call them now this is not always the case like sometimes the owner is not the one that picks up the phone call but like if you're gonna go down all the way and it's like you see for example like these people right here like these people are small they're not like that big so they don't have like a bunch of employees so most likely the owner is going to be the one that actually picks up the phone call so yeah this is the entire idea i'm just going to have to freaking conquer all of ohio starting with looking view okay everybody so listen i'm going to try to call them but i can't really show what they're going to say or what their numbers are or just who they are just because apparently it's actually illegal to record them without them knowing so i'm just going to try to talk to them but trust me this is real oh you know what i actually went and searched up on twitter I was like, what's the best thing to say during a cold call? 
So <laughs> we're gonna try to test it. Hello? Hey, this is Mohammed from uh, from thing up. <laughs> Hold on. I folded, I folded! Wait, we're gonna we're gonna try again. I forgot. Mohammed from where? I don't even know which company I'm in. I'm not even gonna say which company. I'm just I'm just a guy. Ready once again. Hey, hello? Hey, so this is a cold call, just so you know. You can feel free to hang up. Yeah, so look, I'm basically calling because I was looking at your Google Maps. I was looking at like your Google, your, you know, your Google Maps. I was looking at it. <laughs> they hung up, man. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. What the heck is wrong with me? I need some motivation. <laughs> motivation. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually gonna nail this. I'm not gonna freaking finish this video if I don't make a proper cold call. I'm gonna call once again. Hey, hello, this is Muhammad. Um, this is basically a cold call, so you can feel free to hang up if, you, if you'd like. Yeah, so look, I'm basically calling because I was looking at your, uh, the Google Maps, like the business on Google Maps, and I could tell like, you guys can, you guys can have more reviews so you can rank higher, basically get more clients. Yeah, basically I'm just calling like with this, would this be of any help for you guys? Yeah. Uh, no, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't help any other people. But like, no, like, so the thing is, it, no, look, so the thing is, if we're able to get it, like, like rank your Google higher, um, like, you'll be able to get more clients. So basi basically, the whole idea is that we're going to make it Okay, never mind. Bro, I don't know why I'm so bad at this. I need some practice. Freaking practice. We're gonna try another one. I don't know why, I feel like I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm feeling so freaking nervous. Hey, hello, this is Mohammed. Um, just so you know, this is a, this is a cold call. Um, you can feel free to hang up. Yeah, so basically I'm calling because I was looking at your, at your Google uh, listing on Google Maps. And I can tell you guys only have seven reviews. Yeah, so basically, I'm calling because I feel like, um, like my business can actually help you guys get more reviews. And basically, as a result, you'll be able to have more clients coming to your hair studio. Yeah. No, so look, so... Oh, you are? So the entire thing behind this... Um, yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Yalla, bye. <laughs> I'm like, yalla, we hung up. So look, look, I'm messing up, okay? I think my intro is good, the intro, but how am I freaking supposed to sell them? Because I want to sell them for $200, but I'm scared to say it. Is that too much? Is that freaking too much? Okay, fourth one, or fifth one. I don't freaking know what number we're on. Hey, hello, this is Mohammed. Um, this is basically a cold call, so you can feel free to hang up. Yeah, so listen. I'm basically calling because I was looking at your at your Google listing. I could see you guys have 39 reviews, but it was it's like it's basically 3.4 stars. So I'm calling to see if you guys need any help with that because I feel like I can truly help you guys get more reviews uh, at the same time, like get more stars, like more positive reviews. Yeah, no, I can see you guys are in. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So, so the way it works is you guys would have to, the way it works, you guys would have to like, like you'd pay 200 a month. Uh, and basically the entire time we're going to make your Google business like rank higher. Yeah. So as a result, like think, think of it this way. As a result, what's going to happen is you're paying 200, right? But you'll be able to get like a lot more clients because you'll, you'll have like more positive reviews. So you just want me to email you? Can you just give me your email? I'll just email you with the info and then we could take it from there. All right, cool. Who am I speaking to? All right, cool. cool man. Okay. <laughs> Bro, my heart is beating. I don't know why, but I don't think this is a closed sale. I got their email, but I don't know if this is a closed sale. What's cool is that these people are small, right? So they're small. So I'm basically speaking to the owners because they're the, they're the ones that are picking up. I'm calling hairdressers. 
Maybe I should go to plumbers. Hey, hello, this is Muhammad. Um, this is a cold call. You can feel free to hang up if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, so who am I speaking to, by the way? Okay, cool. All right, cool. Yeah, basically I'm calling because I saw like your Google business, uh, your business on Google Maps. You guys have like nine reviews, pretty good amount of reviews actually, like 4.9 stars. So I'm calling if you guys are interested in getting more reviews. So as a result, like getting more clients and all that stuff. Yeah. No? Are you sure? Are you 100% sure? All right, cool. <laughs> Bro, honestly, you won't freaking believe what just happened. Look, so I'm trying to edit my video right here. The entire video, right, that I just made of me, like, literally freaking doing so many cold calls. But I realize it's like, so I have this, but then I'm like, where's the freaking clip where I actually closed a client? <laughs> Apparently, like, half the footage of me, like, cold calling even more people is just not there. I don't know what happened. It got either corrupted on the phone, like, when I actually recorded it, because I still record with the phone, not, like, with an actual camera. One of the clips, I actually did close clients. The way I closed them, and there's actually, I'll, I'll show you the, the screenshots of the payments. And when I actually did pay the Fiverr guy to fulfill the service. But what happened is that I called them and it was very similar to the other calls. Like I started saying that, hey, this is Muhammad. This is a cold call. Feel free to hang up and all that stuff. I got that from Twitter, by the way. But then I went over like their business and all that stuff. And I told them I can get you guys more reviews. They had they had very few reviews, but like I could tell I can actually help them a lot by getting them more and then just rank them higher. So I told them that like, you can you can get more clients if your reviews are higher and you'll be ranking higher on the Google Maps site. So I told them the price, which is $200. And I'm like, it's $200 every single month. So they were like, that's a bit too much. And I'm like, how is that freaking too much? So I said, okay, we can do this. We can do $200 as like the initial fee. So you just got to pay $200 for the initial fee. And then every month after that, if you want us to maintain this whole service and give you guys more reviews, you'll just pay $100. I think it was either $100 or $150. But it wasn't 200, it was less than that. But bro, I don't know what to freaking tell you. I have like like half the footage of me cold calling people. Like some of the footage was so freaking funny. But listen bro, I called I called so many people. Like so many people. And I just didn't focus on plumbers or hairstylists. Like I called barbers, I called freaking... I called people that do like paintings and all that stuff. Like painting the houses and everything. I called a lot of people. But out of all these people, one of them got closed. And also it wasn't in a span of two hours. I know I did say I'm gonna close them in two hours. But it took me at least... I believe four hours, like it wasn't two hours, so it was a lot of work, but eventually at least I got one for the video and that's all I need. <laughs> okay, everybody. So after freaking like, I don't even know, 20 freaking calls or something, I emailed a few businesses back and forth and uh, they actually have some good news. <laughs> so look, this is my stripe right here. So one of the businesses actually, they literally paid the entire amount. I just realized I gave it to them in Canadian dollars when I was supposed to give it to them in USD. So as you can see, June 7th, uh, 1239, they literally paid $200. But the second thing I did once I actually got the payment from them is I just went on Fiverr and I actually, like I literally ordered this thing just right now. So as you can see, I said I'm gonna be with this guy right here. He's gonna do 800 Google Maps citations for local SEO. So I'm just gonna have to fill all the stuff out right here. Like literally all the stuff out right here. And then hopefully this guy's gonna get to work. But so far I paid $35. And apparently he has one of three payments. So $35, the first payment, and then he's going to do it for three months, which is actually pretty nice because these people, they already paid $200, which means that next month I'm going to have to charge them $100 for us to continue this whole service. Now, listen, bro, I can't freaking believe that I actually just freaking closed these guys right here. But after literally so many freaking calls, man, we only got one business, literally just one business, which is not that bad. Now, listen, what I did is that literally all these, all these businesses right here, I tried to find ones that are like, like that don't have that many reviews. Like for example, this one, or like for example, this one. And what's very nice is that, you know how like these are salons? So like volume one salon. So what's nice is that the person that actually picks up the call is the person that's the owner. So I didn't have to go like bypass like the gatekeeper and all that stuff. These people were just owners. And then as you saw, all I did was just basically get their email. And then from the email, I had to talk to them to tell them exactly what the service is about. And then send them a Stripe payment, like a Stripe payment link. And then from there, they just pay. So it's not that hard. The only thing that you gotta do is just so many freaking calls, man. So many calls. And I hate calls. I hate cold calls. But you know what? I literally saw this tweet the other day. This guy was like, our grandfathers, they used to go to war. They literally used to go to war. And it's like, you're just scared of doing cold calls. 
So, I mean, just, just see, seeing that tweet, I'm like, let me actually make this video. All right, but listen, guys, I don't want to be deceiving you into thinking that this whole thing was actually easy. This was not easy. I freaking had to do so many calls. But obviously, I'm not going to show you freaking all calls that I did. I'm just going to be showing you the ones that were funny or the one that actually got closed. So the last one was the one that actually got closed. So if you're thinking of doing this, don't be thinking like, like you'll just get results just like that. And plus, like I've never done cold calls in my life, but I'm pretty good at talking to people. Like I can pretty much convince people to do stuff. So if you're not that good, this could be the reason why some of you guys will do so many cold calls, but you might not actually get what you want. And then also, if you watch my other videos where I talked about mindset, the mindset that I talk about is so important. Like once again, you want to view this thing as just a game because it literally is, it's just a game. All you're doing is just more cold calls, more cold calls. And it's like, what's funny is that you don't even know the person, what they're gonna say when you actually talk to them. But you're always gonna get like an interesting reaction. And then one last thing, once again, I couldn't really show the people that I was talking to. Like I couldn't show their voice or the numbers that I was talking to. Just because apparently that is illegal to do for some reason. Like, why is that illegal? I don't freaking know. But unless you tell them that this call is being recorded, then it's legal. But I'm not gonna say that. Obviously, I'm not gonna say that. So once again, if you're thinking of doing this, just expect a bunch of rejections. Expect some embarrassment, even though it's not really embarrassing. And then expect to do a bunch of calls. Like literally a bunch of calls to finally get to the one but what i've showed you right now is just how to find like the lowest hanging fruit which was exactly what i said the businesses that don't have a lot of reviews and the businesses such as like plumbers or like hairdressers or like hair salons and barbers and that's because these businesses most likely the person that's going to pick up the phone call is like the owner like whenever i go to the barber it's the owner that cuts my hair and that's the owner that picks up the phone call so those people are easy to sell to because there's no gatekeeper so that's exactly why i want for like plumbers or like hairdressers so i hope this video was super helpful if you guys want me to actually scale this just let me know even though i really don't want to do cold calls but if you guys like this then we can do more but listen i'm only gonna do more if this fiverr guy does a good job if he doesn't do a good job then i don't know i guess i gotta find someone else or just basically not do this whole thing so you can make money with this it's just that i don't know if you can truly fulfill on it so that's what i'll see so once again i hope this was very helpful if it was just let me know